Hi everyone, I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Tony. I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be making a breakfast, brunch, egg, toast thing in your oven. It's really, really easy. Uh, I'm sure you've seen it before. Uh, everybody has their own version of doing this and this is my version that I like to do. Uh, it's super, super easy. Uh, all you're going to need is a muffin tray, uh, some salt, some pepper, some cheese. I'm using some old cheddar cheese. Uh, some green onions. I'm going to use some all beef salami. Uh, of course, four eggs, four pieces of bread. And I have the oven already preheated to 400 degrees. It shouldn't really, really take very long. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to butter the muffin tray <laughs> and uh, we'll get this thing started. Okay, and I think we are ready. So uh, I've gone ahead and I've buttered my muffin trays. Uh, you can place them any way you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the bread in. Now, if the bread breaks, it's all good. Don't panic. It's all good. You just have to be a little bit careful with it. Now, you can go ahead and you can cut off the crust if you like. I like to have a little bit of crust on here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to very, very gently, very, very gently, I'm going to put them in here like this. I'm going to push them in, going to push them in. Now, you can use any kind of bread that you want. Uh, I'm just happen, happening to be using this particular bread like that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And it's okay. Like I said, some things are going to stick out here. It's all good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do uh, just a few of them here just so you can see. So I want to put another one on this side over here. And again, just be very gentle. You don't want to break the bread when you're putting it in. Just like that. You're going to make a little basket in here. It's going to be so yummy and it's so easy to make. Really, it's a no-brainer. Let's get a little, rid of that little piece over there, just like that. So I'm going to make two different kinds. Uh, one I'm going to have salami in, and one I'm not. Uh, I did not butter uh, uh, the bread. I just left it in because there is butter in here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the other two pieces in, and I'm going to put them into the oven, and I'm going to bake them for, oh, I don't know, five minutes, more or less, just until you get it nice and golden brown. And then we'll take them out. Okay, and I've had the bread in for about five minutes, so I kind of pre-toasted them a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my eggs. I didn't all overdo it. Uh, I didn't want the bread to get too burnt as I'm going to put it back into the oven again. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add my egg. There we go, nice and easy, just like that. I'm gonna do all of them here. Just like that, perfect. It's okay if you get a little bit of spillage over the sides, it's all good. I'm gonna go ahead and add one in here, perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, green onion in here, just a little bit. Now, I've done this and I've put salsa on at the very end, uh, just as a topper. There we go, just a little bit of green onion in here. Uh, just to give it a little bit of a zip and it turned out absolutely fantastic. Uh, so now, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt. Just like that. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of pepper. You don't have to add salt and pepper, it's totally up to you. I like a little bit of salt and pepper on my eggs. Perfect, just like that. Now, I'm going to do two with a little bit of salami, just like that. It's up to you how much salami you wanna add. I like to add just a little bit more, just like that. We'll get rid of that, perfect. Uh, and I'm gonna do some without any meat. So I'm going to add a little bit of cheese. Now your cheese, you can add any kind of cheese that you want. Uh, I'm using an old cheddar. I happen to like really old cheddar. But again, you can add any kind of cheese that you want uh, or not. It's up to you. Or I'm going to do it like that. Put it all over the place there. Just like this. Oh, this is going to turn out so good. I have not made these in so long. But, you know, having a craving. And that's it. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put them back into the oven. I figure probably another five minutes, more or less. I'm just going to watch it so that it doesn't burn. But uh, yeah, and we're good to go. 
Okay, and they are done. Oh, they turned out perfect. Nice and crispy. Now, again, it all depends on how crispy you want your bread, if you like to have any crust on there. Uh, but they look absolutely wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut into them and uh, give it a little bit of a taste here. Let's see here. Now, it all depends on how runny you like your eggs, too. Perfect. Wow, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I like mine not so runny. Oh, look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Now, if you like yours a little bit more runny, then go right ahead. I'm not a big runny egg kind of guy. Ooh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give it a little taste. Okay, let's give it a little bit of a taste. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Not overdone. Again, I don't like my eggs too, too runny. But if you like them a little runnier, excuse me, that's <laughs> so good. Uh, just don't leave them in so long. But it's super easy. I've made this before. I think I've used Genoa in there before. But I wanted to show you that you can make it without any meat or whatnot. Super easy. Wow, that's delicious. Uh, yeah, so go ahead, give it a shot. There's so many different things you can do with eggs. And this is one of my favorite. And it's like I said, it's so easy to make. So until we see each other again, you have yourselves a fantastic day or night. Because I got to go. I'm hungry now. Bye-bye.